Advanced Grade Gundam Age 3 Normal. Hey, what's up again, everybody? Robert Wannabe for 2 hours 2 bs Gundam Reviews.net. And today it's time to take a look at the Advanced Grade Age 3. This is the normal variety. You've already seen the Fortress in the Orbital, but now let's take a look at where this third lead all came from in its cheaper AG form. 2012 release. 800 Japanese yen. This is from Bandai, of course, as part of their advanced grade line. There's the name in English and Japanese, and in the 1144th AG scale, this is number 17 in the series. Here's the three H3s in their normal ground and space variety, and at 800 yen, they're 100 yen more expensive than buying the H2s, which were 700 a pop, and the H1s, which were 6. And of course, it's sort of strange that Flit kept the same Gundam for, oh, about 100 years, and Asim the same thing. Remember that Kyo is going to upgrade to the Age FX, the 10th lead if you want to put it that way. And this is also, of course, an AG for the same price, 800. Quick box tour now where you can see some in-game stats there with this one painted up like a pro. Looking forward to seeing just how many color apps are actually going to come across in the plastic there. There you can see the Sigmasis rifle and the pilot himself, Kyo Asano, he who does not want to hurt anybody. Play the game, they tell you, in Yorobashi camera is a great place to do that. And more interest, though, is this block build system. As you can see, that he's going to have some yellow there around the neck and on the shoulders. So it looks like there's going to be lots of color apps. I'm curious to see what's going to happen down on the legs. To go inside the box, there's going to be lots of colors, as is befitting of a lead from AG. You can just see in there, you're going to have four colors there in the first bag, two things of white to go along with the gauging chip, a little bit of grey there, and remember that everything you need for manual and missing parts is in the box. Starting with the big stuff first, there are no multicolored plates, but the A1 and A2 were separated at birth here, and you can see that you're going to have the parts for the legs, the head, and some big looking parts there for the waist and chest section, and these are both listed as being for the normal, not just for the age 3 the B plate is listed as being for the H3 though, not just the normal, but you can imagine that all of these were going to be omitted for the fortress and the orbital. But you're going to have the key parts there for the core fighter, the front of the chest, and that incredible looking V fin. Five pieces of grey if you want to count this one, which seems to have fallen off inside the box, but you're going to have these little bit of hips that are probably not going to be too visible there. The all important thing there, which unfortunately does not have a seal to cover it, but the Sigmasis rifle is looking powerful as always, and I wonder if it's going to be a little bit heavy there. You can see that it's fairly hollow there front and back, and you're going to still have the arms showing through it, the elbows and the fists. And with the backward stoplight here making up the D, E, and F plates here, you're going to have the regular red that we've already seen with the waist section and that all-important red jewel goatee and the under-the-eyes part. But it's the E plate in the yellow that's just mind-blowing. In addition to the V fin and that all-important part there, which is going to make the neck really stand out, you do have these yellow parts there. No need to resort to seals or painting because you're going to get that great yellow on top of the blue. But I can't believe they went to the effort of including the ankle parts, the age 3 normal, has some nice little yellow parts there. It's going to be sort of reminiscent of Double Zeta the way it's got such colorful legs. But the fact that they went to the trouble is just incredible. And remember, you're always going to be getting that nice little bonus of the green eyes there. Throw in gauging chip number 17 there. And once again, it's just astonishing how many colors and how much quality you're getting for a relatively reasonable price. For the kids that are out there that are just getting into Bandai or in plastic models in general, the advance from the H1 to the H3 has been very well designed by Bandai. And anyway, I think it's going to be the kind of thing that even fan, older fans may actually enjoy putting this together. When he's all completed, well, 1980 can eat its heart out, because back then, 800 yen certainly wouldn't have got you something of this quality. And I'm just starting down at the bottom, where you're actually going to have the white feet with the blue soles, and you're going to have the yellow parts there, very ingeniously. You're just going to have one piece of yellow that's going to go across there. It's going to look a little bit bad from the back, but then again, who's looking there? The fact that you're going to get the color wraps on the otherwise all-white legs makes this guy fantastic, combined with the fact that you've got yellow, or sorry, gray there for the hips and the elbows and the hands and the manipulators, but it's the yellow that's really going to stand out on the neck, which amazingly has grey parts on the inside, and the combination of the V-fins up there means that this guy has all the right colours in all the right places. The only thing that's really missing is a nice green age-ish seal. Notice that you've also got the green there for the eyes, the black eyeshadow around there provided by distance and the camera lens too. Comparison time, where you have the suit on the left that Kyo trained on Gundam vs. Gundam Extreme vs. for years and years before stepping into, and his final suit, the HFX, prior to its burst. Both of these are advanced grades. 
You can see that there's going to be some pretty good color apps. I'd say that the edge goes to the age three here. Although this one certainly has a lot of fun just because of the clear green parts all over the place, including that part there. Not included on the high grade. These can all detach and go whooshing around. But it's the legs, I think, that really sort of lose something. But the chest for the age FX and the fact that you're only going to have the blue, unlike that little tiny touch of purple that the high grade has. So I'd give the edge to the age three personally. How about you? The Fortress comes across as being the same height, although certainly a lot squatter and Sarah v ish there with the guns. Love the fact that they actually did the legs up in the half purple there, and again those yellow details that they put on both of their shoulders, and the fact that they've got a different colored, or at least grey weapon, is a big plus, although of course looking at the inside of the core fighter there, not really a good thing there. And maybe it's just me, but I think the Orbital has to be my favorite of the bunch, especially when you consider the cool posability that the high grade is going to have here. In terms of the advanced grade, the thing that I love about this is just that it's got those individual stands on there. The high grade does not come with that. He's still going to have the right feet in the right places. All sorts of red details there on the waist skirts, and you've got that other weapon there looking fantastic. Gray again in the right places, but this is a guy that's going to be noticeably be improved in high grade. But then again with this, he's going to look great. But the fact that he was my favorite, that H3 over there, I think has probably taken the title. He just seems to be the complete package. And finally, AG versus HG. When you take a look at it, there are not very many color applications missing. I mean, you've already got the white part there on below the chest. The high grade is actually going to have all yellow there for the neck. He's not going to have any gray on the inside like we see with the advanced grade. You're pretty much just missing those little white parts there on the side of the flap and the seals and the things that you get with that. Of course, what you are going to be getting with this high grade is the ability to have weight issues and slouch over because of the weight of the weapon. But then again, you can always deal with that because you can actually pose him. So the fact that he'll fall out of the pose is still a plus compared to the advanced grade. But both of these for the price, outstanding, I'd say. In terms of posing with the advanced grade, well, I said you can't do very much. And I sort of lied because unlike most of the advanced grades, this one is going to have more articulation than just the arms and the rifle there. Because you can take these flaps and move them up and down. And I'm trying to sell that as a positive. But really with these advanced grades, you know what you're getting. It's going to look great. It's going to be a brick. Outside of the fact that he can bring his arm up. But you know that going in. And still, it's a very good looking brick. Final thoughts as the high grade comes into view. My final thoughts, of course, on the advanced grade is that this kit is just fantastic. And I have to give a lot of kudos to Bandai. Because they've done a very good job of leveling up the kids that would want to be going... And buying this. The H1, yeah, it looked RX 78 ish so for fans of the old classic Gundam, it's going to have that kind of appeal. How much appeal that has for kids today in elementary school, you gotta wonder. But they did a good job of taking it, really advancing it to making it look cooler and sharper with the H2. Although it didn't have the transformation with the AG. But this H3 for me is the pinnacle of the advanced grade line. You bumped up 100 yen from the 1 to the 2 to the 3. But it seems to be worth every penny with the fact that you've got those color apps all over the place. Just look at the details in the chest. Outside of the fact that you've got the white parts here, he seems to have every detail in all the right places. Again, a 50 cent or a 50 yen uh, sticker sheet could have made all the difference. And a little bit of playability would have been nice, but I guess if I had a choice here, I'd say that this H3 normal is probably going to be the highlight of the AG line. Close runner up there to the orbital, but why don't you let me know what you think of it. And, of course, would you want to pick this up? Or is the HG with its superior posability, although weight issues... Is that, of course, going to be the one that the majority of viewers, I think, would probably be going for? But for me, both of them, especially when you've got the need for actors in the anime reviews, I'm pretty happy with it. In terms of future speculation, well, we've already seen that the H3 seems to have missed out on the mega size model boat there. As we got the H1 and the H2, and it looks like sales of the H2 didn't justify them coming out with the 3. No word on an FX either, and certainly no wares there. So you'd have to wonder that we are going to be getting, I'd assume, we're getting three of the H1s in Master Grade. Only two so far announced for the H2, so the double bullet is sort of the fact we didn't get that. Sort of makes me wonder about what kind of H3s we'll be getting in Master Grade form. I'm sure we'll be getting a normal and an FX. The orbital seems to be cool enough, so it looks like Fortress. Maybe the one that's out of luck, but why don't you let me know, is there anything we could be getting beside the AG, HG, and MG? Would love to hear your thoughts on the review, the model, and what you saw of Kyo in the H3 in the anime. Of course, it didn't get quite a very long run, as we've only got to see the lead Gundams here have around 13 episodes each, as opposed to the regular 25-26. But did it have enough impact on you, or the fact that it was watered down into three, did that take it away even more? And how about the old Double Zeta clone? Good thing, bad thing? Anyway, always love to hear from you. See you next time. Lots more reviews, news, and everything else you can use of every grade you can conceive of. Thanks for watching. Bye. Well, Orbital... I'd say that you do Gundam Space Feet just right. 
And I'd say you do the tricolor just right. <laughs>